What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more punk rock, back with some more ska, back with some more Operation Ivy. I uh, want to keep going through this album, or this compilation, I should say. I uh, mentioned it before, they have always been one of my very favorite bands since I first discovered them. Um, and despite, uh, for some people, I think Jesse Michael's voice being like very harsh and abrasive, but you know, to me, that was sort of part of it. It's like, you know, a lot of the ideas and um, visual images suggested through the lyrics are not the, the nicest. They are like a cold, hard assessment of the brutality and like, you know, intentional um, exploitation and um, corruption and sort of violence in human societies around the world. So again, um, I just thought it was very much part and parcel to what the band was saying. Uh, nevertheless, we're gonna listen to a tune called Yelling In My Ear. Um, <clears throat> lyrically, it's interesting. Um, I think this song is written to someone very specific, although I don't know who that is. Um, I know most of their lyrics were written by Jesse Michaels, so I'm assuming this song is by him. Um, but it's interesting, like, it, you know, it could be perhaps a metaphor to society, but there's a line about, like, you know, the moment I s saw you, I should have, like, immediately run away. Um, I'm paraphrasing, but basically, um, it does seem like it can't really be you know, one's family or one's parents because you know them from the time that you can, you know, pay attention to things and remember things. Um, in many cases, I realize this is complicated and, you know, it could be different for different people. Uh, nevertheless, um, it does seem to be about someone very specific, unless, of course, as I said, it's sort of a metaphor for society, but it's about, you know, you've tried to take control of me and you, you're looking at me, but you don't really see me for who I am. I mean, it sounds like it could be a relationship, but it could also be like, not necessarily a romantic or intimate relationship. It could be like a professional relationship or like a social relationship with someone you've known a long time and you know, the, the association has soured. Um, but yeah, it's about someone who's, you know, literally like shouting at the narrator constantly and their irritating voice is just like infuriating. Um, so like I said, I do think it's addressed to a person specifically unless that person is sort of a metaphor for, you know, the, the society that we've inherited um, as you grow old and become an adult. Um, nevertheless, let's get to it. This is Yelling In My Ear by Operation Ivy on their compilation uh, from 1991. It does make me, you know, sort of wonder in that sort of, you know, musical world gossip way if there was someone, you know, this was specifically about. I remember reading, I forget even what the name was, you know, during the period where uh, Brett Gurwitz had left Epitaph, um, or not left Epitaph, left Bad Religion to concentrate on Epitaph. I know he was in this very short-lived, um, like, group with people from different uh, bands. And they did like one song called Hate You, which I later learned was apparently about Jay Bentley. I guess part of why Gurowitz had left was a big like fight and sort of like, you know, cannot work together anymore um, situation with Jay Bentley. 
Um, so yeah, it does make me wonder whether there's someone, you know, very specific that this song was written about and, you know, basically a middle finger to. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything specific about that. Um, nevertheless, uh, I've always enjoyed the song and it has that sort of like, you know, it's, it's ska, but it's punk and it's sort of alternating between the two with sort of like, you know, unrelenting ferocity, like led again by Jesse Michael's voice. So to me, it fits very nicely into their sound, into the, the style that they had, I believe. Let me see. Um, I'm trying to remember what, uh, I believe this is from the Hectic EP. I think that's right. Um, it's certainly not from the Energy album, because the Energy album is the first, I think, like, 11 or 13 tracks on this uh, compilation, and this is one of the last tracks. It's number 23, so I think this is from the Hectic EP. Uh, nevertheless, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're uh, familiar with a cover. There was a tribute album to the uh, to Operation Ivy um, called Take Warning, um, the songs of Operation Ivy. Uh, I don't have the disc anymore. I don't have the case anymore. It's one of the you know albums I lost. Um, talked about it a couple times. Nevertheless, I did rip it years ago. Now, the fact that I ripped it years ago means that it's probably 128 KPS. I'm thinking I'm still going to play it because I'm probably not going to be in a position to, you know, uh, buy another copy of that uh, tribute album anytime soon. So, yeah, I think I might come back with the Blue Meanies cover of this song, which I've always enjoyed a great deal. Uh, nevertheless, let me know what you think. Thank you for listening and watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I will see you next time. Peace.